Uh, only on 7. You better beware if you're not paying your fair share. The city of Detroit is coming for you and calling out all fraud. The water department has a brand new fraud unit, as our Andre Isom found out. It's already busting businesses. Do you know what this is? It is called straight piping, meaning somebody out there is being shady. That's a meter, and that, that meter should be in between those two pipes. Okay, so... And someone has taken the meter off. So the water is running right straight through the pipe, and people are not paying for it. Skipping out on the water bill, come on, now that's bad business. Or, in the wise words of the director of the Detroit Water and Sewerage Department, Mr. Gary Brown. And I'm going to chalk it up to being uh, some, some type of misunderstanding. Let's do that. It's a misunderstanding. Okay. On behalf of who? Lose. Lose um, is an institution in this city. Oh, I've been around since I've been in high school. Well, let's just say forever, right? Forever. <laughs> but, Lou, you need to let us in. We need to put a meter on because what you're doing is out of character for uh, your business. Absolutely. We know you want to do the right thing. But you're inadvertently passing cost on that you should be paying. You're making a profit. Mm -hmm. We can't allow you to pass that cost on to the residents of the city of Detroit. Brown says Luz is paying the service and drainage charge, but it is not paying for the water usage. And mm -hmm. we know that he's using more water than zero CCF. Got it, got it. This meter is reading zero because it's not connected to the pipe. Now, what's the outstanding balance? I think it's about $14,000. That's a lot of money. But we will put a meter on, mm -hmm. we'll read it for three months and get an average amount of what it should have been for the last uh, three years, mm -hmm. and we'll back Bill Lou, give him a payment plan, give him an opportunity to make it right, and make sure that Lou's Deli is paying their fair share. How did this super duper popular place get busted? Well, the water department's new fraud unit was on the case. And in six months time, you're getting some good success. We've got more than $3 million in collections on bad debt. We're gonna come after you because we cannot allow your costs to be passed on to poor people. Now you know I had to show up and lose, right? $14,000. You know, that's a lot of money. 14000 is a lot of money. This place is a staple in this city. People love Lou's. I love Lou's. It's awesome. And the city yeah. wants to work with you guys. They just want everybody to pay their fair share. Fair share of water bill, yes, we are. Going to close this issue out. Let's do it. Let's do it. We know we got a, you know, a very good business, and we want to continue to be that way, and we want to make sure the city of Detroit is being taken care of. And keep on being generous with that corned beef. It's good. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> thank you very much. Is there any other businesses? Mm -hmm any hairdressers, any barber shops, any other businesses, mm -hmm. we want to help you. We will put you on a payment plan, but we will not allow you mm -hmm. to defraud the citizens of the city of Detroit. So businesses in the city of Detroit, you have officially been warned. You are now on notice. Look, this is all about doing the right thing for the good of the city that we all love. I'm Andrea Isom, 7 Action News. Wow, good they're going to work it out with Lou's. All right.